Well, I, I think the consumers respond to, to value. If you're passionate about something, you find a way to go out and get it. And gamers are very, very passionate. It's their number one hobby. Uh, and I think if you compare it to other forms of entertainment, you want to go to a movie, uh, you know, it's $15, $20 if you don't eat any popcorn or candy or drive your car there, uh, and that's a two-hour entertainment. You play a game and you spend $60 on it, even if you finish the thing start to finish uh, with the expertise of the developer, it's usually a 30 or 40 hour experience, but you get weeks if not months worth of entertainment out of a single game. So I think when you're buying a platform and you're buying technology, you're hopefully buying a device that you're going to enjoy for many years. And I think if you look at things comparative to a, an investment in a gaming system, be it a portable or a console system, um, whether it's an iPod, whether it's a cell phone, uh, people are used to spending several hundred dollars to get a portable device. And I think in the long run, when you look at that total investment in a platform, the amount of money you spend on the hardware is, is a relatively small percentage of the total investment. So typically it comes down to how good is the system and how bad I want it. And it's not to say that the, the price of the platform isn't a consideration, but uh, I don't think price makes or kills a platform. Something that's lousy, that's very inexpensive, is not going to be successful, and something that's um, pricey uh, will ultimately find its audience uh, if there's enough value there. Gaming really has a very loose definition that includes anything that has graphic interactive entertainment. And I would not say a game is a game is a game when you look at something like an Uncharted 3 next to some PC freemium uh, space that uh, is pretty low on graphic quality, has a lot of advertising hooks to it. but has some type of interactivity that the consumers enjoy. So gaming is such a broad definition now that I think gaming could apply uh, to almost anything. And, and people realize that consumers now like interactivity. So any TV show, uh, any charity event, everybody's trying to create some gaming hook that draws attention to their cause. Uh, so I, I think gaming and the recognition that interactivity is important to people says that gaming is a way to reach consumers to drive a message. It used to be static entertainment, a TV show, a commercial, uh, a, a piece of written form. Now gaming can be used to drive a message. So I, I think in terms of a business connection or uh, a contribution to society, Interactivity is a way to educate people and to have things stick more. And I know personally, uh, I have much better recognition in a conversation back and forth with somebody, an interactive discussion, than I do if I'm just sitting there and somebody speaking.